Hi everybody, this is Aaron with Bioacademics and we're going to talk about the concept of an axis. So when we're talking about an axis, we're directly having to relate it to a plane. So if we're dealing with that plane being any of those three points in space, an axis would drop directly perpendicular or straight through those three points. Now, depending upon where you're going to place your plane, that puts your axis in a different position. Given that a plane can be in any possible infinite number of positions, that means that you can have an infinitely possible amount of axes, and that'll be important later. But for now, it's important to understand that if we were going to break down axes relating to specific coordinates in somewhat of a, a planar system, we would be dealing with a horizontal, a vertical, and some kind of depth that gives it those three different dimensions that we're talking about in a coordinate plane. Now, <clears throat> if we have this plane that's oriented in any one of those directions, we also necessarily affect that axis. If we were going to talk about axes in, in a literal sense, we would have uh, this transverse or longitudinal axis. We might have this uh, horizontal axis, or if we were to reference a body, we might call this sagittal. If you switched it again, you might have this uh, frontal, or maybe a, you would call it a coronal with reference to the body axis. So when we have all of these different axes and orient them any number of particular ways, we can see how it might change if there were a position that were necessarily required by a body, and we'll get into that next.